Pēdējais čeļžam, bet bija kā, ka mēs varam pie līvīgi apikti un jau. Jā, es tā tūk fā. Es varam kādā un jau uz drīvu. Jā, nekas vēl bija Uppington, the second biggest city in the Northern Cape province. Handsome price of 450 rand. It's not bad. It's pretty cheap. I'm on the farm a couple of kilometers outside of Uppington. There's a lot of little flies here. And yeah, I'm kind of don't feel like going to Uppington itself because it's a city and I'm trying to get away from cities for a while, for a few days. So I'm walking down to the river and just checking out the, the farm here at the place we stay. Right here on the farm, and one of the reasons is that it is still for fire. Everybody in there is an owl. All of it is that the Steve Hoffmeyer concept. Steve Hoffmeyer is a popular singer, quite right wing type of guy, singer, performer in South Africa. Not really my cup of tea. Eh? There is a little abandoned braai uh, standing here. This is the river access. So I'm assuming you can come a braai here and then you use this braai. Walking down the street in Uppington, I had a very nice relaxed time there at Raimland on the farm. So this is the main road. This is also our turning point for going back to Cape Town. More or less we might still go to the west coast, we might not, I'm not sure. Uh, it's up to uh, there. Uh, but I thought I would just show you a little bits and pieces of Uppington on a Saturday. It's a Saturday today, I think of the town and yeah that'll be like kind of the end of our north northwards progression and it's back to Cape Town. Bit of a cloudy day not much to show just normal city streets well I don't know if you want to call this a city compared to Cape Town this is like uh, really slow but yeah not really much to show let's see if you can find something interesting I don't know it's quite possible you never know maybe I can get to the river I asked the lady at the hairdresser, how can I get to the river? She said, go down here next to the Nissan garage. So at least we can go and see the river. It's better than city streets. So these are the professional river fisher people, fisher, fisher men and women from uh, the Northern Cape and this is the bait, so this is like maize, maize, they make a ball like that and uh, then you put it on the hooks or on a sinker, so there's no hook. So how do you like, how does the fish actually catch on? 
this dissolves in the water and then they eat this oh meat, yes and then the floaty and then the hook is on the is on the floaty and on the mealy so this is a whole technique yeah? yes <laughs> And this is all your little dupa and stuff. Yes, yes. Your secrets. That's the that's the that's the story. Open your casma. Yeah. Yes, that's. Wow, you guys are serious. Uh, <laughs> this is serious fishing. Look, my husband's a big fisherman. What he was with the the lichas and the SA is for South Africa and you name it. He's the few big fisherman, and then he taught me it when his wife and then his daughter and had two sons as well. So he's the big fisherman. <laughs> Whole family fishing. Yes, the whole family is fishing now. Yeah. Have a lovely day, guys. Thank you very much. Where are you from? I am from Cape Town. Oh, my son lives there. That's <laughs> nice. <laughs> Enjoy it. Bye. Bye. That was cool, sir. There's something interesting. People take their fishing here seriously. Whole box of all kinds of stuff. Old baits and tinctures and smelly stuff to catch some fish with your family next to the river on the Saturday. I'm sure later on we'll get some beers coming out of the fridge, the, the cooler bag, have a braai. Lovely, lovely day, man, next to the Orange River in Uppington, about two, three hundred meters from the main road. Why not? There's something going down there. It looks like uh, just a float with Possibly a bar and a restaurant. Is it too early for a beer on a Saturday on the Orange River? No way. It's never too early in a free wild world. The time is always right for a beer. This could be a private venue, I'm not sure. I just took the illegal road next to the river. We'll find out now if I'm allowed here. Maybe it's a private function. Who knows, it's quite a lonely, fancy building up here. We'll have to float down here in the river. Can I have a beer? Uh, yes, you can, sir. Okay. So, you're more welcome to have a beer. It's a 65 rand, eat as you like. Yeah. And then um, you can definitely have a beer, so we have on tap, we have Stella, Gin on tap, and a castle light. What's the place name? What is uh, Redox. 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 Is it like a restaurant or a guest house? So this is our river dick. It's part of the, that's the big restaurant as you see on top there. So this is our river dick. So what we do here, we only just serve pizzas. Open bar, we have your, your on tap beers, your, your whiskeys, your gins, we have that. And then, yeah. So it is like 65 rand, then it's like as much as you want to eat for breakfast. You can eat as much as you want. That is not a, and then we have to, that's not a bad deal. Yeah, really we have your desserts for you here. We have your, okay, we have flapjacks now, so you can make flapjack for you with everything there. Flapjack, show me the rest of the stuff. Everything is wonderful, beautiful. Wow, that's really cool. Show me what else you have. For you, we have your sausages, baked beans, your hash browns. Over here we have our eggs and our bacon. As well, we have that. Everything and everything is always kept nice and warm. This is our pizza section. Pizza section as well. This is our pizza section. We sell amazing pizzas. And this is the mother of the dick. This is Auntie Flum. She looks very busy. <laughs> She's always busy. Cool man. Chips. We have some chippies too here and there. So usually what happens is, um, if you run out of stuff, then you just you constantly change your stuff. So there's no thing is we're adding. For example, next time we add. Uh, pancakes, you know? Cool. Yeah. I wish I didn't have that left of a steak this morning because I'm not hungry now. But I'm always hungry for a beer. Anytime. I'll have a draft. That's a good one. That's a good one. See, you never know what you get when you walk down the river. I've got a beer and the sun is starting to get out. It's starting to warm up as well. So yes, for beer at the Red Ox, Red Ox Steakhouse I'm assuming as well. Yeah. Steakhouse, pizzas, cocktails, drinks on the river. It's cool. Not overpriced at all. You guys all from Cape Town? Yes. And you here too, tell me? Yeah, so we are physios, 
Healthy Cheese um, OTs, right? Yeah. So, so we um, are currently working, we're still fourth year final students, so we're working in um, Dr. Harry Tutu Hospital for the next two months. That's Great, practical. small world. Yeah. See you guys back in Cape Town. <laughs> Apparently, Steve Hofmeyer, the famous, very famous Afrikaans singer, that had a show here last night, is coming down to the deck. So, yeah, maybe we can catch a bit of him. I'll be like the paparazzi for Steve Hofmeyer. Walking up the stairs now, feeling really like I had too much stuff to eat and drink in the last week or so. Uh, and I want to ask you something. If you see this video and you like this video, I have to ask you, don't just look at the video. Subscribe. Just hit that subscribe button. It helps me. It motivates me to continue make, making more videos. And hopefully I'll get to, at some point, I'll get to a decent amount of subscribers so I can uh, do it more and it will motivate me to do more anyway let's go check out the restaurant up here yeah I'm not getting anything for this it's not a promo video for anybody I just want to show you guys what I get on my vlogs when I walk into it and do a little interview so this is just information for you guys to make this is supposed to be a travel vlog most of my vlogs is supposed to be travel vlog so this is just info i'm not being sponsored by these people i'm not getting anything but it's just a really it's, this is like a top class restaurant this could be in any city in the world next to the orange river in uppington so i think it's worthwhile sharing this is what this is all about so yeah i'm paid for my own beer I'm just telling you but this is a really cool restaurant it's a nice surprise i definitely will have a piece of meat or a steak here at some point because I am a meat eater as well and uh, yeah this is cool man go check it out to be here just tell me about your restaurant so Redox is a meat and steakhouse. It's a proper steakhouse in the heart of the Kalahari where we specialize in mostly steaks that um, we do on the bone. Um, as you can see we've got massive tomahawks that we sell. We do a 1.2 kilogram T-bone steak and then we do sirloin and fillet on the bone as well. So that's one of our specialities. Our owner was, is a very passionate man, he's been in the industry for more, um, close to 30 years um, and he owns various businesses around the Kalahari and um, in the Cape. Um, we are part of the NC Famous Lodges Group, um, which is one owner-run uh, establishment with about five lodges and a game park as well with it. So we are the flagship restaurant in his arsenal. Um, we do sel select our wines very carefully to pair with our meat properly. Um, but yes, that is what Res uh, Redox is all about. We have a passion for meat, so that's why our slogan on the outside, you will see no meat, no life. And that is us. That's what I call a steak. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> so I'm just waiting for Pierre back in the main road. We are ready to move on to the next place. And uh, yeah, I just want to tell you that Steve Hofmeyer never pitched up. You probably heard that I was here and they got a bit shy or something. But Steve, man, if you see this, let's have an interview. I want to talk to you about your stuff and your politics and all that. Let's clear shit up. Let's speak to the nation. So next time, Stevie, me and you, we have a chat. Phone me. We 
we are looking for a public toilet in Pofader. Pofader is not very impressive. You basically drive through and then you see a lot of nothing and then you're on the other side of town. But uh, yeah, now we can say we were at Pofader. I'm standing in front of the Puff Other Hotel, Puff Other translated to Puff Other, which is a type of snake you get here. Fastest striking snake in the world, I think. Anyway, the point is I've never been here, but you always hear about Puff Other. But yeah, not much going on. It's a pretty boring little town, very quiet. And I'm just gonna go into the hotel quickly. At least you would have seen a Puff Other Hotel. Let's go. There's the bar, closed. Hello. Hello. I'm just taking a bit of a picture of your hotel. Okay. Thank you. Can we use your toilet? Yeah, it's just here. Okay, cool. I'm just going to take a... Okay. Just check it out. The hotel, pop out the hotel. It's really quiet. No music playing. But it's air conditioning. I can feel it. Hello, guys. I'm just taking a little video of the pop out the hotel. So there's the chill zone. Your rooms. So there's a fish tank. Hello, um, how are you doing? Good you? It's a bit dark in there. And that's the bathroom. So this is the Puffer Hotel. I've got some artifacts here. Uh, it's all very dark. So I can't fill them in there. I'm assuming, I don't know, some type of artifacts. And I have a little fish tank. I don't know if the fish has a name. Does the fish have a name? No, no, no. Just call him Puffy. Puffy the Puff Other Fish. How's it, Puffy? Oh, I feel very bored and lonely. 